That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just, I mean, no, it's not an no, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step out of the that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you're in the army once you should know that was different how oh there were more people in the world i don't know i mean having a military made more sense i think it makes more sense now why it's utter fucking caitlin or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you pick that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? Diamond Lake. It's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Hey! Hey! Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <laughs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. 
I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, fucked up. And I had to, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that, that you were still alive in that, that's, that's when I really wanted to, that's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We're getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. I need your help to move that out of the way. What the hell is that? It's a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a narrow checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah.
thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Right. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. <laughs> 
Okay. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, what? you know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Finally. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Agent Fire! Come on. Get down. Mother of fuck. You were saying? Yeah. Now this world is stopping anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Clear. Alert. Coming. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Gotcha. Alert. Alert. This is the level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Clear. Coming. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Weapon storage? It looks like Jim. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple 
shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Covered fire! Ah! I can't! Clear. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 200759. Alert. Alert. Sarah Irene Whitaker, has security been has been breached. Police are on their the Cloverdale way. facility Stand is in lockdown. Repeat. Hard. Override. ID 200759. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 Alert. has been Alert. overridden. This is a left Shut the alarm. Alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. They must not have locked out security. security. Personnel to the you ready? Oh. Yeah, this time? Let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Where'd you come from? Warning. Deadly force is all for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is all Snipers, they're on the roof. I see him. There's more of them! Alert. I see him! Changed. The police are, are on their way. Stand, Stand down, down and you will not Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. Alert. It's Alert. Here. This is a level Nothing 4 here. alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. It's clear. Same here. Use this. All trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Okay, it's clear. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on. Will not be harmed. Come on, let's try the door. 
Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Sarah Irene Whitaker, your security Alert. clearance Alert. has been revoked. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been assistance. fired. Security personnel to the maintenance bitch. building. Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Well, maybe. Uh, like, monsters. is there a way Warning. to that rooftop from Deadly here? Deadly force is authorized. Over here. There's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. Be able to climb up from there. Listen, I want you Alert. to go up there, Alert. lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here and take them by surprise. Will not be harmed. There's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? Alert. Alert. Oh, this shit. is a level Come on. four. Come on, alarm. I have an idea. Multiple shots what? have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance photo. building. Huh. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. <laughs> Alert. Alert. Put your hand on that reader. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, Alert. here's your ID code. Ready? Alert. This uh, yeah. Four alarm. Your full Multiple name and ID 5429009. Got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you Alert. got it? Alert. <clears throat> yeah. Has been called. Wait until I get their way. attention, then you go Stand in. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Hey, don't take any chances. <laughs> Are you kidding me? These days, that's all I do. Okay. Alert. Go. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Jim Moore! I know oh, you're in there! Thank you. Answer me, goddammit! Deacon Lee Sarah St. John, ID 54290609. Deacon Lee St. John, welcome to Harperdale Research Facility. This is your first lobby. Please? Disable voice response. Come on! Get her!
Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. The maintenance building. said hands all right all right just just tell me what you want okay all right he's clean we were just defending ourselves Get down there all the dead people outside Jim you know the ones you shot in the head I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. <laughs> Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. about God this is my fault I, I don't understand I should fault. have seen it when it first went in I mean we used to grow wild ginger and and grape root here and then all of this changed they sealed everything off they took away my clearance God David kept telling me he kept telling me that something was wrong okay okay who's who's David so David Gorman he was this research intern you know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman, he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed 
I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. Oh, my God. And two days later, Two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hold on for a second. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Power building, yeah, that's uh, it's gotta be it. Open, God damn it.
Burn you little bastard. That does it. Burn you little bastards. I just gotta jimmy that door. Come on, open, open, open. That did it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn. So tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. D? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. You'll be safe, okay? Be safe. 
Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good, listen up. Uh, D? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a... I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this... Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's, uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work, uh, by Iron Butte. He's gonna know the place. You come over here, you're gonna find food. You're gonna find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Shit! This is not gonna open. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. It's clear. Oh, 
Are you gonna come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Everything I had is soaking wet. Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me here. Hey there. Nothing. St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? We need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. <sighs> what the hell? This huh? is well, Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Out there huh? <sighs> okay. Sarah? One eight. Come in. Good. Sarah? Okay, then. Oh, God damn it.
Corporal St. John, you take care now. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. Deke, Corporal in command. Sarge, good to see you. There you go. Okay, now that's more like it. Yeah, gonna make me a quadrillionaire, right? <laughs> Corporal St. John, I'll see you around, yeah? Hey, what are you doing here? 